So I've just been fixing yet another Model A generator up and I've noticed that the cutout on it was actually of the original style. So I thought I'd quickly disassemble it, show you what it looks like and I think how it works. A modern replacement cutout would simply consist of a diode which would let current pass from the generator into the battery but not the other way around. With a mechanical relay like this is, you can detect current flow but you cannot detect in which direction it is flowing. So they've made this a little different. It has two separate coils. You can see the large thick wire coil on the outside. And then you may be able to see this solder dot right here connecting to a tiny little wire and another solder dot on the outside which connects to yet another thin little wire. So there is a second coil on the inside. For the sake of the video let's call the inside coil with the thin wire the primary and the outside thick coil the secondary. I've now hooked up the primary coil which goes between ground and the generator output post. In other words, it detects what voltage the generator is delivering. Now let me crank up the voltage and you're going to try and see or hear when the contacts are starting to close and open again. See that? That's around 7.3 volts in other words, the voltage of a fully charged 6 volt battery. Once the generator exceeds that voltage, the cutout permits current to be passed from the generator into the battery. The contacts open again right around 3 volts. The secondary coil connects to right here on the output of the cutout and to this post, which is the output, shall we say, of the opening and closing contact. Now I have hooked up a uh, voltage across the intake and the output of the cutout. In other words, I'm simulating what would happen as the generator starts charging. The way it is now, I can crank up the voltage here right on down to 11, nothing happens. But I can set it to any value and simulate the contact being closed and it stays closed. Now the secondary coil is acting as the relay, keeping the contact self-energized as long as current is flowing through here. The instant that the generator voltage is no longer enough to charge the battery, in other words, the uh, current dies down, you heard that, the contacts open again. So at any voltage it stays open, but once it's closed, it will keep itself closed until the voltage drops. So the cutout has two functions. Number one is detect the output voltage of the generator to make sure that it doesn't close until the battery voltage is exceeded. And number two it has a self-energizing circuit which keeps itself closed until a different voltage between battery and generator is no more. Thanks for watching.